<laughs> hey y'all, we burling crawfish. Or actually Ryan's burling crawfish, balling crawfish. And we're watching and acting like we're helping. Yeah, we're well, holding the hose right now, so. True that. Natural position for you right True that. Um, I'm not gonna comment. <laughs> I don't like you anymore. Nobody does. Can we get a friend divorce? <laughs> sure. I mean, can you divorce family? How many bags are we gonna do? Four. Four bags. That's now, approximately uh, 200 pounds of crawfish. Y'all saw us do it at Donnie's. Now Ryan does it completely different. And yeah. I'm doing it completely different than how I do it here. Oh, really? So I only ever different. cook one bag at a time. And I do a two pot method where I cook them in clean water and have all my cool down water with my seasonings in it here. Right. That's the best method I've found yes. to make them soak, soak up all the moisture. Uh, but tonight we got to cook four. So I've made your little uh, home invention, a homemade boil boss because the boil boss costs $75 and I spent $10 on this. The problem we're about to run into, I'm at a friend's house who is running their shelf water off a water hose from the house. So we have no pressure. Pressure. So I had to cut this down so that it's hugging the pipe. Really, really tight. When you have good water pressure, it sticks out to here. Right. And it has a pretty spray, you know. Right. So I did a test run on water and uh, it, it cooled it down ish good enough. So right now we are filling up the pot for people that don't know. In the words of the great optimist, it'd be all right. Yeah, it'd be all right. We're getting it figured out. It'd be all right. If you don't know where your water line is when you put a sack of crawfish in, you fill it up till the water covers them, pull the crawfish out, mark the pot. That way you know where so you're know. going. So right. that's what we're doing. Right. Because Which this, I've never put a good mark on my pot. This water flow is going to take a little while. Uh, probably another 10 minutes. So we will come back uh, when we get getting the seasonings going. Because you put all your stuff in the bag, right? All your vegetables and stuff. Yes. Yeah. And these, Bag. Because I, I see, I season all my vegetables and stuff different than my crawfish. Right. So. Okay. Well, we'll be in and out throughout the day, y'all. We're going to film this. We're going to film some of the uh, some of the cornhole going on, and then uh, we'll come back from there. We're just going to have good old fashioned redneck fun. Right. Yeah. If y'all yeah. don't know what that is, do your research. Yeah. Or come to Alabama. Right. So we we'll show you how it's did. We will be back in a few, y'all. Four beers. Four beers. Yay! All right, y'all, we, uh, we built some stuff here. Let's get back out of the way. Somebody's foots. Here, we can see citrus going in. <laughs> we got water heating up. We showed y'all orange, lime, lemon. lemon, letting that come. We will put seasonings in there before we put any of this in. Right. These are full bags. That's how I do it. Put whatever you want to put in there besides your crawfish in this. So far we have onion, garlic, celery, mushroom, corn, corn Brussels. Brussels sprouts, potatoes. potatoes. Now, olives. I have already drained the juice of olives. You drained all that in the pot. In the pot, right. with with the other juice. Jalapeno peppers, olives, and the spears. We are now taking the contents of what's left, what putting it in the bag. And Bert's getting the can over here for a pineapple. We are doing four bags, so we have doubled this up. So one will go in one pot, one will go in the other. other pot. And then we'll come back to you when we put our seasoning in. Cool. We'll be back.
All right, so we're tasting. That's been going for five minutes, mixing together. Take a hot dog bun, bread, whatever you got. Dip it in. Check it out. All right, so what we got going on with this one right now is a little spicy. So we got two bags over there. We're gonna put a bag in the spicy. Whenever I mix this one, I'll make this one a little bit more mild. Now, after you get your vegetables out in the bags, you want to taste again. But it's going to soak it all up, and then we'll adjust accordingly for our crawfish. Okay. We will be back. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Get me loud. I'm going to talk real loud. Our lemon, orange, and lime are done. Take them out right now because the water's boiling. Squeeze every juice, bit of juice you can out. Warm way. No one ever eats them. No one ever touches them. They've served their purpose. Well, it's loud. We got this one going, and we got this one. Going. All right. As I said before, I normally do a two-pot method, and I normally have the seasonings I use. We're going to do something different today. If you'll show up there, there's seasonings everywhere. So here's what we're going with. We're doing half a sack of crawfish in this one because we've only got a single jet burner. We're doing a full sack in this one because I've got a double jet. That's the lemon, liquid. Hey, you're onion. Garlic and onion. These don't have that much spice, so don't freak out because I'm putting that much in there. Because we're only doing half a sack at one time, we're gonna do eh, a third of this. Half. half. <laughs> All right. So for people that don't know about boiling crawfish, the liquid, from what I understand, activates whatever powdered seasoning you put in. So I like to start with my liquid, the amount that I want, then I have bread handy, and then I start adding in my powder seasoning until it gets to the desired spiciness. I'm also adding, this is something new we're trying here, yep. Old really Bay good. hot sauce. That was really good. That's I'm gonna, gonna put in there. I'm gonna do half of it. <coughs> half of it in there, and then I'll use Woo. the crystal with garlic in it. That's really good. In this one, we'll do a little bit of different. All right, and this is also some new stuff I'm trying. Louisiana's Products new boil booster. They have the citrus, the mashed garlic, and the herb overload. And nothing that we, nothing we're using, we're not sponsored by anything else. So. But I've never used any of this stuff, so, so we're, try it. we're trying it out. So I'm gonna do half of each one of these and that. Okay. Take 10 words to spell a two letter word. These are precise measurements, y'all. Well, here's, here's, <laughs> here's where it comes in. And that bread that Bert's holding will tell you. Yeah, what he do? You want to let that come to a bowl, and then we'll come back in a minute and I'll taste it. But it's got to get get to a bowl and incorporate. Everyone get happy together. Three back. This man. We're back, y'all. We're fixing we're back. the. Uh, we're cutting. We made sauce. our first boo boo. <laughs> yeah, it happened. That'd be all right. Who's We forgot a main ingredient. 
we gotta get the sausage going, y'all. I left it in the fridge so it stay cool. forgot about it. So we're gonna cut this up, we're gonna put it in both pots. Are you gonna put it in the bag or the pot? Huh? All right, where are you gonna put it? In the bag or just yeah, in the bag? In the bag, so these are going in the bag, so. We'll be back after we uh, correct our boo boo. Can you do it with the time in it? Yeah, all right. No worries. The handiest invention ever. Keeps all your veggies together. Look at that. Just make sure. Put that on the outside. Tie it up so that it does not go down to your burner. Don't ask me how I know. How do you know that? Uh, don't ask me. <laughs> oh, perfect. Get the lid on. Let it go for 20 minutes or so. That was probably going pretty good by now. Yep. And then there's the star to show y'all. I'm posting pictures. You told me to post pictures. I know. This is all Ryan do here. Ryan is the crawfish expert. He is wow. Him and Donnie, I'd like to see them get in a well no, I don't want to see them get in a crawfish competition because I don't want to have to pick one. But they both cook different ways, but both amazing crawfish. Ryan knows what he's doing. Yeah. So we just follow him. He's the star of today's show. Alright, so my thought process behind this. We poured half the water out of this one. And it's a single jet. So I'm gonna put the same exact thing I did in double amount of water and taste it. And we should have our mouth. If my calculations are right. Let's hope. Yep. Hang on. Y'all, we're gonna vacuum this up, and then we will come back when we're adding uh, either crawfish or the other bag, y'all. So we will be back. What are you doing? Burning my hand. <laughs> you need some help? I do not have the right equipment for this. You didn't bring a hunt bug, did you? I did not. Alright, these are the spicer of the two. They're done. Ooh, you can smell them. Put them in there. Let them go until you get your crawfish done. And then Bert and I are going to check this real quick and show you how we check the taters. jet got so hot it burned so this one's trash anyway so Bert is about to find one step closer to uh, people eating. We're going to get these out. We're going to reseason our uh, pots for the heat level we want for our first our first round of crawfish. We've already got one purge and then we'll film purging another set. Okay. Bring it close over here, Bert. Bring it closer to the full You have problems there, buddy? I have an idea. Stand on top of that one. Perfect. That was my idea. That's heavy. Well, you got. You, you didn't want to get too close to that burner either, so. I know. We'll be back when we go to put the crawfish in and. Right? Yes, exactly. We'll be back <laughs> in four beers. Okay. Two beers. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> that was close, y'all. This is going to be the milder of the two? Yes. Yeah, you can look at that water until it's mild. Yeah. It's going to have a good flavor and not a lot of heat. Yeah. My prediction. Yeah. Normally at a crawfish bowl, everyone's around when they first come out. Everyone can appreciate good flavor. But once the first batch comes out, most people quit eating them besides the people that really like the spice. Alright, so is that wide open? Yes. Now 
out to you. Need a timer or are we good? Not until they come to bowl. Alright. We'll be back when we pull them out and pull them on the table. Okay with you? Well. This is your thing, so. So the main <laughs> the main misunderstanding when you watch a crawfish video online is everyone says they boil five minutes what does five minutes mean to me what five minutes means because i'm going to be pulling them down really fast with that soaker over there so what five minutes to me means is, is when they come on bull i boil them for five minutes not put them in the pot for five minutes but if you were going to do a long soak and you weren't going to use that or pouring ice over it or frozen corn well you probably want to put them in there for five minutes and then cut it off and let them just slow so this is the method we're going with what he says <laughs> we will be back y'all yeah, we're following he's leading <laughs> we'll be back. he the one who knows <laughs> take this and, and grab that water hose and spin it around so what you doing now buddy man working with low water pressure <laughs> So you got your ring on now, right? Yeah, so everywhere there's a hole, it should be spraying, and it is not because we don't have water pressure. Yeah, it's barely. So it's kind of dribbling. Dribbling. So we, we we cooked them for five minutes on a bowl, shut it off at the timer, uh, pull one out in the check. You can do that now. Pull the tail, make sure it's cooked and white all the way through. Um. You're not going to have much grease in it right now. <laughs> cooked? It's warm. Yes, it's cooked. <laughs> Pulled out of the shell, right? Somewhat. They will in a few minutes. All right. I'm just glad I got you uh, trying to do that with it being so hot. Woo! So I'm stirring vigorously, trying to get this down because I set a timer for three minutes. Boiling water is 212. We're trying to get to 150 in three minutes. Okay. After 150, you are no longer in the cook process. That is then what we call the shell shock so that it can soak up the juice. Okay. Yeah, you can see where it's. That's warm. Get that uh, temperature gauge, Bert. Let's just see where we're, where we're at. Give it a minute, it's not a, a good one. Mm. No, we won. Yeah. We're gonna cool them a couple more minutes. Where we at? 183. What you gotta get them down to? 150. Well, we will come back after we uh, succeed in this process, yeah? Yes. <laughs> Which will be very soon. Be very soon. We know what we're doing. Yes, we do. We think. Yes, we sir. watched a video on it. Yeah. And I saw it stayed at a Holiday Inn Express. Okay. Yeah, we're going. Go ahead. All right. Well, this is the second batch we pulled. The first one got demolished. We're going to go ahead, take it over there, and put it on the table, and uh, try it out. I'll follow you there. Oh my goodness. Pretty good. What do you think? You get it, Dad, Bert. Look at this. Ah. I was trying to be cool. <laughs> didn't work out, did it? Hang on. I'm going to do another one. I'm do another one. This is what I want to see when I eat them. I don't want to peel the shell around it. I want to put my finger down there. Pull it out. There you go. You shouldn't have to peel it. I'm going to get them all in. 
I'm going back to cook more. Okay. Y'all, that is crawfish at its finest. We have two friends, two totally different methods. Both of them very talented, very good. I'm gonna have a piece of this sausage. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Everything's good tonight, y'all. Everything's great. Hold on, I gotta finish this. Okay. This is really good. Put it in the pot. Put spice on it. Boil it. Listen to the people we film. They know their stuff. Button video. Yeah. Little button over here where you can no, little button over here. This will be the video. Right. This will be the button. Yeah. And touch our ding link. Yeah. Subscribe. Like. Like. Please. Peace out. Crawfish up. Yeah. <laughs>